Welcome guys to my first ever ASMR ASMR Welcome welcome to my first ASMR Today we're gonna be reading I need to hurt you to keep you re Oh this is so nasty words man I don't wanna fucking say them but it's it is rape w dom Jandrede, blowjob, threats, kidnapping, serial killer, skedgasm, mutilation, discussion, dark. So, okay, guys. This is very long ASMR, so let's get it going, bitches. Oh, you're finally awake. I'm sure you have some questions after all. This has to be all so strange for you, but you shouldn't try to move yet. You'll want to trust me about that, but you'll be a little woozy and you could hurt yourself. What did I say? Not now you've probably given yourself a headache? What do you mean you don't know who I am? How can you say such a cruel thing to me? You saw me every day and we had a relationship and then you treat me like this? Yes. From the coffee shop. How could you even joke about not knowing who I am? <coughs> I'd see how your eyes would light up when you saw me. And the tone of your voice as you said my name told me everything. We were destined. <laughs> We were destined to be together from the first time we met. Oh, you're trying to act like we don't know what I'm talking about. But you were an active participant of in this. You know exactly what I mean. You know you were mine, but then you came in with that other woman yesterday and you broke my heart. I knew I had to do something drastic to get your attention back. <coughs> I know I can make you happy. I just needed to be able to show you that. I had a feeling you weren't gonna to let me if I just asked though. So I had to take matters in my, into my own hands. So when you came in for your coffee, maybe, maybe I coated your cup with something special. <laughs> you don't remember me helping you to your car. Maybe you felt a little lightheaded this morning, do you? After that, it's pretty self-explanatory I, and I'm sure you've awoken enough to notice the chains and cuffs too. And well, your lack of clothing. Here's the thing, no one knows you're here right now. You're my little secret. But I want you to have a really good first impression of what it will be like to be with me forever. Don't you want that? Oh, sweetie, no one can hear you scream. Do you think I'm that stupid? This is sound proof for them. And even if it wasn't, you'd have to yell pretty loud for anyone to hit anyway. So just relax and let me explain. Wait. This shit is fucking long. But well, fuck me. I'll do it for the mother mother jacket. But as I do, since this is all a little scary, I'm going to do something else to keep you entertained and focused on what I have to say. I knew you wanted to fuck me the first time you saw me. I mean why else would you be so hurt right now? I haven't touched you or even mentioned doing anything dirty to you yet. You really can't help yourself, can you? But I certainly want to do things to you, wonderful things. And I know you want to that too, deep down. The good news is, I'm going to give you so much pleasure and be everything you've ever wanted and more. I could start by fucking you. <laughs> right. I could start by fucking you right now, but you're not ready for that yet. But soon. <sighs> but I do want to suck your cock. 
I think that would be a good start. Oral sex sounds begin. Your cock is exactly what I was hoping it was going to be like. Oral sex sounds continue. But there is some bad news too. Oral sex too sounds. And it's really bad news. Oral fucking sex sounds continues. Continues, kurwa. Ja pierdolę. Before I tell you, I think I should keep going a little bit more just to take the edge off or to edge you a bit more depending on your interpretation. BJ... <laughs> BJ continues. Okay, deep breath. I'm going to have you. I'm going to have to cut off some of your fingers and toes. I'm just going to let them sink in for a fucking moment. Oral sex. <laughs> I resumes. <laughs> Oh, don't scream like that, I might choke and no one wants that. BJ stops. Fucking phone. Notification. Fuck this nig. Fuck him. BJ stops. Angry passionate. <laughs> Call me a crazy bitch one more time, maybe you won't like that. What would happen next? Yes, it will be so much worse than losing your fingers. I want to apologize. Think about how vulnerable you are, and think about what I was just doing, and what I might be capable of. Satisfied, maybe a sincere giggle to it. Ha ha ha. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Boy. Trying to sound blah blah. I don't want to hurt you. If you're nice to me, if you follow the rules and use your common sense, you'll enjoy your time here so much. Our real success continued through the, the part, next part of the scene, and she outlines her plan, additional instruction follow. I don't really want her to cut off those fingers and toes, but it's the only way, it's all be, will be worth it. And you'll see, I need to do it so I can keep you, so that no one can be come between us again. Don't you understand that? Don't cry, I know it sounds scary, but it won't be so bad. Trying to be sweet. Yes, it's going to be hurt a lot. I mean a lot. I could lie to you about that, but then you wouldn't believe me about anything else, bitch. The pain won't last forever, though. She gets particularly moany and breathy here as she tries to soften her brutal sh What she's saying is... My fucking up. But after I cut those fingers and toes off, I'm going to build a fire in a clearing in the forest someplace I know a lot of joggers go by every morning. It's going to be a scene that looks like someone set a fire to a body. Body. Dead body. Yeah. So that by the time someone finds them remains, so that will be left is a barbed pile of bones with the remnants of your clothes. Along with a few unburned fingers and toes and of course, some of your hair too. We can forget about that. The police will naturally assume based on the physical evidence after they find that the remains were all you, which means they also assume you're dead after all. So no one will be looking for you and I can keep you for as long as I want, as long as you satisfy me. <laughs> you want to satisfy me, don't you? That's a good boy. Boy, boy, boy. Or a six cents while she would summon threats. Ha ha ha. What do you mean I'm not going to get away with this? Oh, it's so sweet. You think you're my first or that I'm making this up as I go along? As I go along? There have been others. I know exactly what I'm doing. Where do you think I'm going to get the bows from that little stunt in the forest? Do the math. I can see it in your eyes that you finally comprehend the situation. <laughs> Every one of those guys, they got the idea in their heads that they were going to try to escape. So they attacked me first. After all the love and affection I had lavished on them, they thought I would let my guard down. But they were so transparent and now they're no longer in the picture. If you catch my drift, they weren't particularly nice devs either. I could really take my time with them too, because after all, everyone thought they were already dead. I even visited their graves. Oh, they begged. They made their choices. They could have lived forever a wonderful life where a beautiful woman fucked them and made sure 
<laughs> made sure that they gave the cardinal the Zahid was full of theft, and all it cost them was a few digits and their freedom. Yet they stay treated me like a fool. They had to be punished. You understand that? Not to me. Not to tell me. <laughs> Not to tell me that you understand. Good boy. Oral sex continues. Very moany. Don't go soft on me. Find that urge. Like I said, you want to satisfy me, don't you? I know you were getting so close before. You were just about to pop. You don't want me to hurt you, do you? Well, any more that I need to, at least. Yes, you're getting hurt again. That's good, so good. Because I need to come in, your mo in my mouth. Don't you say no to me. Do you really want to disappoint me? Is that how you want to start this off? I don't think it is. That's better. This is just what I wanted. And just imagine if it feels this good now. Imagine how good it's going to feel when you aren't nervous anymore. And just give it to the... How good it feels, I want your calm, I want it all, I can feel the twitching starting, you trying to hold back, and I don't know why, just come in my mouth, things will be so much easier if you do, you should know that by now. Her turn changes as she, as she come in, comes in her mouth and she swallows it. You're going to be so much fun, I just want to climb next to you and cuddle you But there is so much I have to do before I can have to cover my tracks after all We'll get around to cutting off of some of those fingers and toes in a little bit You won't miss them after a while and lucky for you, I've gotten so much better at doing it now the first few times I did it though Sucking in her bit of between her teeth It's a good thing though For you, I've had some practice You're still not going to like it of course But I make it up to you after we're done You're going to live in a world of bliss I'm going to do every dirty thing you've ever wanted You're going to be so happy you'll see and if you're mine truly mine there isn't anything I wouldn't do for you I wish I didn't need to do such terrible things to you first to make that happen but you forced my head but it's all be will be worth it and maybe someday when we're both ready we can start having children together wouldn't that be so lovely if you keep me happy I'll keep you happy too for the rest of your life Thanks for the listening to my ASMR. Thanks to my best friend ASMR Dara. I don't know how it spells and reads, but fuck, fuck that ASMR Dede. Just go did. So okay, guys. I just wanted to tell you that this ASMR was very really good, very cool, good. Yes, goodbye, nigger. Goodbye, Luje. Goodbye, people, and goodbye, everyone. I love you all. Peace out.